Well, hi guys, and welcome back to Divinity Original Sin Enhanced Edition. And we've just reached Sicil. We've had a talk with the wizard Ahu, and he gave us more information about Jake's murder. What's going on here, boys? I think we can help you out, Scarlet. We have a rain scroll. The ship's blazing ever higher. I prefer to drown my sorrows with ale. Nice reputation up. Save that ship all by your lonesome. Wipe the feet. If I had the magic touch about me, I'd have. Lent you my hand too. I thought the old gal's fate was sealed when the arch shaman set his fiery gaze on her sails. But you managed to rescue her from a watery grave. Closest thing to a miracle I've ever seen. I'll take my leave. So we just get some reputation up there. Let's talk to these people. Livelihood, all sunk in a matter of minutes while we could do nothing but look on. Tell me about yourselves. Well, we were merchants what seems like a moment ago. With our ships sunk, we're little more than three men with nothing more to say than boo. What happened? These damn orcs. They can't keep off this place for the life of them. They came in here slinging fireballs and swinging swords. Wasn't a thing we could do to defend ourselves. About finding work. Our ship gone, nothing for it but to get a job. Slim pickings around here, that's for sure. Maybe you can keep an eye out, though. How about that ship? That was a right stunning show of magic you pulled, it was. Thanks. Wish you'd have been around when our own barge went down in flames. I'll take my leave. So they're looking for a job. Have you found us a job yet? I'm we'll still, still looking. Still looking. Speaking of youthful girl, that loopy legionnaire really thinks that orky charm loves him. I wouldn't let an orc with him for hundred yards of my life. Hi, sailor. Are you enjoying the fresh winds of Sicil? Oh yes. Tell me about yourself. Name's Cotton. Cargo trader, sea captain, an expert in all things nautical. Folks across Andervale know to give old Conrad a hollow when it comes to rare imports and magical items. Interesting. Now he's got some good... Speaking of youthful girl, that loopy legionnaire really thinks that orky charm He's got some good uh, level 2 gear here. It's a bit expensive though. Let's sell some of this. That's level 2. So what's this one? Oh that looks good. 21, 13 to 21. This is level 3. Speaking of youthful girl, that loopy legionnaire really thinks that all the charm loves him. I wouldn't let it all win 500 yards of my life. <laughs> no, he did. He drove it straight to the barber flat. Let's get as much fish as possible for food. We can come back here and teleport. Speaking 
I won't check every crate while I'm recording. Not too exciting. Here we can talk to these cows. Or bull. Tell me about yourself. I'm Bull, the Bull, the leading clairvoyant in Psy Seal. The two feet never bother to ask, but I see all that is and is to be. Can you tell me my fortune? Of course, most winsome two feet. Of course. Uh, what would you like to know? Well, I don't know. Um, will I be wealthy? Why, yes, most wealthy indeed. Uh, but you must be vigilant, two feet, for I see that your wealth will come by bloody means. You might be right. Well, that depends, two feet. That depends. I see that love has caused you to falter in the past. Yes, falter dearly. You must reconcile your mistakes before you will find true love. And how will I die? Hmm. Death. Ever the most difficult topic to foretell. Yeah, I thought you might say that. I see. I see. Oh. Oh dear, no, uh, no, your reading is over, dear, over. <laughs> Slimy There's another waypoint. So this gate goes to the other side. These gates are to remain closed at all times. Captain's orders. Hmm, wait a second. Will I be a little red imp's uncle, the Source Hunter? Sorry for the gruff treatment. I didn't recognize you right away. Please tell me, how can I aid the investigation? Open the gate. I don't think you're quite ready to head out into the wilds to me. Also, a party of one or two runs the risk of being outflanked and outnumbered. I'll bring some backup if I were you. Of course, the choice is yours. But are you sure you want to venture out? Uh, you're probably right. Thank you for heeding my words of warning, Hunter. Sysil needs you. Needs you alive and well. Okay, let's go. I'll do a lot of looting, checking the boxes off screen, so you don't have to watch me open everything. And I don't plan to talk on every character in the game. There is a lot of characters. No, they're not too important to the story. Especially in town here. Just local talk. So here we can upgrade our weapons a little bit. If we have a sword, we can combine. But we don't. And we can cook food in here in the furnace. So let's cook that fish we have to make some food. We need all the health we can get, all the possible ways to heal up. Guys, can you tell me what song this reminds you of? This music. 
It sounds like a Coldplay track or something. Let me know what you think about that. So where are we going? We want to go this way. And please let me know about the sound volumes if you want me to adjust them. I'm still trying to work out the best levels for that at the moment. See, no one's around. You wouldn't raise a fuss if I uh, borrowed one of these fish, would you? Borrowed? Borrow indeed. I'll sooner meet a cat wizard than see that merchant repaid. Come now, I'll be good for it, I swear. Tell me about yourself. Oh, my story's tired by now. I was a happy enough, a prosperous enough before these lean times around Sicil began. Still, that doesn't waive a man's need to eat, you know. Are you in the habit of stealing? I never would have dreamt of resorting to petty theft during better times. But what choice have I got now? If it's steal or starve, I'll choose steal. So what do you think? Should I snag a fish? I think you shouldn't snag a fish. Heavenly herring. Leave the fish alone. That merchant has to eat too, you know. Leave the fish alone. And I'll agree. Yes, you know what they say about giving a man a fish. This man should learn to stand on his own two feet. <sighs> I suppose you've got a point. Another day, another rumbling belly. A hungry man, you know. Sheep's cheese, tomatoes. That thief is free for now, but I wonder how long it'll be until his growling belly seduces him back onto the crooked path. What did you think of the thief? Thank you for making that would-be thief see reason. I only hope your instruction lasts. The last thing the plagued people of Sicil need is a thief among them. Okay then. So this is the main, the town square. You can get your bow and arrow here. This guy sells treasure maps. A low proportionate one. Oh, I can see from the symmetry in your face that you are a great fan of the fine arts. No. But there. You can, re to be honest, you can find most of the treasures just by walking around naturally. So unless you have a lot of money, don't worry about them. You'll most likely find the treasure anyway. So we want to go to the captain's office. And we can pick up a extra character. Have some pity. For some reason, we get experience points just for walking here. So don't forget that. <laughs> Look on the bright side. Everyone knows the ugly soldiers are the most ferocious. Ugly will be the least of it. The beast looks rabid. 
In that case, you'll have the pleasure of putting her down yourself. Hey, who's that then? Come on, stand where my good eye can see you. So here we can pick up our first optional character. Easy, Tull. That's the source hunter you're talking to. A curious situation you've got there. Is the woman in this cage under arrest? She may have the look of a woman if you squint hard enough, but she's no more than a wild animal. We got reports of a strange-looking outsider skulking through the town with her bow drawn. I found her crouched behind a tree, taking aim at a fat old rat trotting along the city walls. I tapped her on the shoulder to see what was what, and the beast startled like a wild cat and lunged right at me. Bit Talia right in the face, she did. It wasn't pretty, and now it's got a chunk ripped off it to boot. Enjoy it while you can, Ver. There's not another legionnaire in the cohort that'll have you if I go rabid. And what will become of this admittedly strange stranger? Well, that's to be decided. She doesn't seem to be sick, despite Tully's moaning. We can't keep her here forever, but we can't well send her into the wilds again, can we? Well, maybe we can take her... Take her under our wing? Perhaps it'll be worth taking this stranger under our wing. She'll likely come in handy if we can trust her to watch our backs. After all, a fearless hunter might prove quite useful for our investigation. Well, that's a relief, ain't it? We found a good home for her after all, Tull. Heed me, Source Hunter. She's not good for anything more than cannon fodder. And don't turn your back on her when she's got that bow within arm's reach. So there we go, we got our third character. Baltor, Baltor, if that's how you say it. And she is our ranger. And she wants to talk. Source Hunter, I have heard tales both grand and terrible about the world of humans. I myself was caged one moment and freed the next by your, our, kind, in home forest. Every creature acts according to the nature of its kind. Birds frighten easily, badgers fear little. But amongst men, there are no guarantees. And we will say... Sorry, sir. What shall we say? Yes, as you've noticed, we are unpredictable species. Now, there's a quest with this character, and if you answer correctly, well, if you answer the right response enough times, later on, we'll have a different effect to her side story. Now, I can't really remember what answer here, so we're just play it naturally and find out what happens at the end. It is difficult for me to claim humanity as you do. I am still learning to see myself in the faces of those I meet. And those I meet do not always see themselves in me. It is strange to stand with one foot in the forest and the other in the city source hunter. I am glad that now I have you standing beside me. And here's her bow and dagger. And let's equip. We'll give her... She has a bow skill, not the crossbow. Those folks are in Barry's at Briggs Troll. Get to shining recruits. Sorry, sir. And which one can she equip? You think that's money, right? This one. Sir, Any no, armor? Attention! Okay, let's go see this officer. What have we here? A 
the so-called Source Hunter, eh? Well, look, do what you must in Sightseal, but don't make waves and don't interfere with the Legion's affairs, you hear? This guy is very cynical. I'm Captain Aureus, if you must know, leader of the Legion in Sightseal. By which I mean I have the enviable task of commanding a battalion of walking dead. For I fear it may well be but a matter of time before the undead undo all my soldiers and turn them into dribbling hordes of their own misshapen number. Let's discuss Jake's murder. Gods above! Some politician snuffs it and everyone's in an uproar! Ridiculous! I told that wizard brat of an Ahu not to bother. He just had to send for source hunters, didn't he? Bloody magicians. They see a pigeon poop and think sorcery is afoot. <laughs> I like this guy. Nevertheless, I want to be kept in the loop. Understand? I am in command of this town. Not Mayor Cecil, not Ahu, and definitely not some hotshot source hunter. So investigate Jake's death if you feel so inclined, but report back to me the moment you discover something out of the ordinary. The scene of the crime is over at the King Crab Inn. You can tell the guard you have my permission to enter. Now off with you! And... Let's wait for the skip. In regards to Jake's wife, Esmeralda. Esmeralda is Jake's wife. Well, well, widow. Everyone in town, down to the crabs on the beach, is convinced she killed him. Now, the girl has the reputation of being a flirt. There is that. But that doesn't suffice as evidence, wouldn't you say? Or do source hunters rely on hearsay alone, perhaps? That certainly would explain some of the cock-ups you lot have made in the past. Excuse me? What? You're going to stand there and claim with a straight face your order never wrongly tortured and executed anyone? Yes. Hardly. But I won't stand for such nonsense. If you bring evidence before me, I'll evaluate it with perfect objectivity. The Legion relies on reason, see? Not idle superstition. And some more questions. <sighs> if you must. No, we don't need to ask about undead. Are you enjoying it, Cecil? How am I enjoying it? Are you spoiling for a fight, Hunter? Are you? Cecil stinks of fish, reeks of orcs, and on a good day the wind disperses the stench of decomposing corpses. I can't remember the last time I had a proper piece of steak, and by now I wretch at the mere sight of sardines. So in conclusion, I am not enjoying Sicil! Okay, I won't ask you again. How about the Legion? We are the pride of Rivalon. To be found and to be seen everywhere. We don't hide in the dark and lurk in corners like some I could mention. No, we protect the civilized from the barbaric. And we do so impeccably. Ahu tells me he suspects a sect might be at work around Sicil. Yes, and he also spends most of his time in the guise of a cat, licking God's knows which body parts. Sects. Sorcerers. He'll be seeing flying carpets next. Okay. Let's go. Interesting character. Let's quickly talk to Arahu. And he can give us some something for later on. I hope your quest fares well, dear hunter. Tell me a bit more about yourself. But certainly. What would you like to know? Who or what are you? Oh, I am but a wizard. A guardian of man and beast. And indeed, I am both. My body, like any other, is bound to temporal decay. But my spirit is a speck of light that shone forth from the eternal sun that is the cosmic soul. My task upon this earth is to protect the heart of nature, the very antithesis of which is the intrigue spun by demons and directors of the dead. 
Hence my involvement in Sizio. You see, my one desire is to witness a world in which every mother looks around her and purrs with calm contentment. For she knows that her chicks or children, her cubs or calves, will grow up without knowing the meaning of menace, the enfeeblement of fear. To my great regret, none of them purr as yet. How about the cat trick? Oh, but that's not a trick. It's a blessing. Or does it surprise you that I enjoy taking a feline guise? Such magic is a gift, Hunter. To tread upon the realm of instinct. Even articulate speech. Perhaps humanity's greatest asset cannot give expression to something so inextricably innate. To be out in the night. To stalk on silent paws and hunt with only the moon as your witness. You couldn't possibly imagine the thrill. But of course it's handy to speak in more than meows. And I couldn't brew potions or make machines without opposable thumbs, this I freely admit. Let's just say I have found a way to enjoy the best of two worlds. Isn't it dangerous to change? Oh, that'll never happen. Granted, a witch could make the polymorph permanent if she'd enchant me and my cat guys, but I'll just have to be careful around witches, won't I? I'm my own wizard, you know, and I don't intend to become anyone's familiar. And what might those be? So, how about the magical ballast day of yours. Oh, a mere trifle for one with the intellect of a feline and the engineering skills of a human. You basically construct a classic ballista, add a 100% legally obtained self-regenerating source of destructive magic to it, and bobcats your uncle. So we can come back to him. And later on he will give us a few things. And all these things in red, you don't want to touch them or you'll make, him ang make anyone angry. It's basically stealing if it's red. If it's white you can interact with it. You can steal if so for example let's split your group and you talk to the character and then break off to someone else and sneak so this color is his line of sight and the gray area is outside so he can't see me and now you can steal. You can have a look and take things. But I'll do I'll do some of that off screen. I don't wanna waste time waste your time with that too much of that. But it's important to make sure your characters are split because if you steal while they're connected um, he will notice he will notice you stealing basically so make sure they're split and you pickpocket the same way So next let's go to the King Crab Inn and check out Jake's murder scene. Can you spare a, a coin? Fantastic music. Really love it. Let's see. 
Here's the king crab in. You there! A moment of your indulgence, if you please. You are the source hunter, are you not? The hero the whole of Sightseal is a buzz about. The talk of the town, the juiciest grape on the grapevine. Such a pleasure to meet you. A delight. You sound very happy. No, scratch that. It is so much more than a delight. It is an intervention of fate. Yes, that's it. Fate has put me on this very spot so I may tell you all about a most intriguing opportunity indeed. And you are? Mendius, at your service. What is my profession? Well, I'll tell you what it used to be, and that is a man of medicine. But what does a man of medicine do but mend what has first been broken? I save lives, to be sure, but today I change them. Oh, it's not merely an opportunity. It is a once-in-a-lifetime chance to become better. To become the full extent of the promise that is locked inside of each and every one of us. So first of all, let me ask you this question. Do you like adventure? Well, of course we do. I do. How could someone in my profession not? Quite right. Adventure is what we live for. In the mood for cheese? No excuses, boy. See here. You and I share the same passion. I never doubted it for a moment. The thrill of walking the unbeaten path. The rush of finding yourself in a goblin ambush. Knowing you'll prevail nonetheless. Hmm, too bad your line of work comes with such measly recompense. Am I right? The wage of a mere soldier. Now, between you and me, tell me truthfully, don't you sometimes wish you could earn more? Hmm. Well, can't say that I haven't. I can't say that I haven't. And... I might disagree. And I can't say that I have. I'm... <laughs> well, don't quarrel about it on my account. Still, if a matter is divisive, it is divisive mainly because it is alluring. And even so, my friend, matters of a pecuniary nature aside, what is life without variety, without spice? To be a source hunter must get frightfully dreary sometimes. Am I right? All those orders. Investigate this, retrieve that, and at the end of the day, what do you have to show for it? Wouldn't you prefer to call your own shots? Be your own boss? Uh, let's do opposite answers here. It's better to lead than follow. It's better to lead than to follow. That much is true. I disagree. I, for one, am content with my station. You disagree with one another. But that proves you are firm-willed. That you have the minds of independence, not dependence. Admit, life's too short to spend it doing someone else's bidding. Am I right? Of course I am. And I could help you attain the dream. Enact the change you deserve. And that is exactly why I am here. Why fate has put me right by the door to the King Crab. So that I could meet you and tell you about the marvel that is the fabulous five. The invitation to join is yours. Grab it. Do you think we should believe this guy? Tell me more about the fabulous five. Oh, the fabulous five. How I enjoy is simply saying the words that describe the most illustrious and celebrated adventurers guild in Rivalon. Our mission, to better the world. Our mantra, to better ourselves as we do so. To realize our dreams and cleanse our souls. You'd like nothing more than to enlist, wouldn't you? 
Of course you would. And you can. Of course, if you still have questions, I shall answer them to the best of my abilities. But if not, how about we get started? Oh, I'd like to enlist. Of course, of course, of course. All you need to do is sign this waiver, and just like that, snap! You're part of the family. All I need is your lovely little autograph. What do you say? Let's join. Join a guild. Better the world. Earn a lot of gold. Yes, count me in. And me. May all the riches in the world be ours. Marvelous. Magnificent. Oh, but what am I saying? Fabulous is the word. You may not realize it yet, but your fortunes, your very life is about to change for the better. So let us not dilly-dally. To business. Your first assignment is ready and waiting, if you're ready and willing. About the assignment. Oh, it's a pretty straightforward task, this one. Now, in this town dwells a wizard. Ah, who is his name? And he's a frightful eccentric. Scientific type, you know the kind. Favours reason over faith and all that. Not Fabulous Five material, him. His experimental weapons may keep a couple of skeletons away from the city, but many of his other researches failed. Malfunctioned with tragic consequences. One of them was a big lumbering apparatus. A frightful automaton shaped like a giant made of steel. It was supposed to crush the undead by the dozens, piloted as it was by a trained legionnaire. But you can guess what happened. Did it become sentient? Was it cursed? Whatever the cause, the thing relieved itself of its pilot and headed north towards a network of caves. Now ask yourself, what if it comes back? It could smash the city walls and claim a hundred lives before being subdued. Sounds suspicious. Luckily, there are those in this world who belong to the Fabulous Five. The Braves who eat such monstrosities for breakfast. Go, my friend. Find this wizard's abomination and claim your just reward from Mayor Cecil in the name of our hallowed guild. Easy money. Now you can tell him about the sailors we met that were looking for a job. But there's also somewhere else where we can do that. So we won't do that here. And let's go. So that is... Mendius and the Fabulous Five. It doesn't sound very trustworthy at all, to be honest. But we're going to check it out. Well, guys, that was quite a lot of story dialogue. Uh, I don't want to don't want to do too much in one video. So I'm going to do some looting, looting the crates off screen, nothing too much, just check the boxes around town, get as much as I can, get as much free stuff as I can, and then we'll continue investigate Jake's murder, and find out what's happening in this town. Thanks for watching guys, take care.